What's going on, Warriors? It's your boy, Lionheart. And um, <laughs> oh boy, Bayonetta free, Bayonetta is everywhere. Question mark, explanation mark. Okay, you know what? I saw this trailer. I'm like three hours late for this trailer. By the way, it's like six o'clock. And I've had it paused, but I want to get everything done before I watched it. But that the name Bayonet is everywhere. I had a theory. You can go watch it on my Bayonetta tra um, trailer reaction, the last one that came out. I think it came out in March or April, something like that. And I did say in the trailer a couple months ago. You can go watch it. Is this a different version of Bayonetta? Is this Ceresa's timeline? Like the young Bayonetta, Ceresa. When she got revealed as Balder's daughter. Father Balder's daughter from Paradiso. Is this a different timeline, Bayonetta? And it's not the same Bayonetta as from Bayonetta 1? What's going on? So, and when I saw this trailer, you know, just her hair looking like Ceresa and everything and... Hmm. And now we see this says Bayonet is everywhere. I am intrigued. Let's watch this man. Left and right. Okay. Let's go, man. Oh, I'm excited, I'm excited. Paradiso and Inferno. The blue for um, Inferno. No! Stay back. What? You have a job to do, soldier. Bayonetta was cracking. <gasps> hey, what's happening? Hey, hey! Don't do that to Bayonetta. What? No, 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 no. Fake news. Not an angel or a demon, but not quite human either. Who are you? Sorezo. I'm mind flux by seeing Bayonetta die. Don't do that. You look after him for me. What? Me? She even Fight sounds yourself? different. Now I'm looking, listen Lesson to it. Learn to fight for others, not just for yourself. Even she doesn't sound like Ben at all. <laughs> yes, the new character. She looks cool, man. A second. That's a different bayonetta. So close. Am I seeing a different bayonetta? We got a different timeline bayonetas. Oh wow, uh, that was being that we saw in the last trailer where she was in red with red armor or something. I'll leave the driving to you, of course. Full throttle it is then, Doctor. Sup, Sean? Oh, listen to the music! Are we fighting different timeline versions of Bayonetta and Fellow Beast? Never bow to anyone again. 
Not even myself. Not even myself. I'm about to know, but not even myself. Then we'd better be off. I think you have me mistaken for someone else. Oh, that. A simple bonsoir. Just wait until I get really chatty. What is happening? We'll knock down his door, wring his neck, and end all of this destruction. If this device is damaged, we'll never be able to open the portal again. Where are you, you mangy psycho? Oh my god, this is incredible! Infiltrate the laboratory. What? Oh shit! Oh mini game. Oh wow, that's cool. Wow, that was a lot. Oh my goodness. My mind is blown. What was all that? Those are different timeline versions of Bayonetta. And they did say singularity. Or that was a person. That is causing singularities. So different timelines are intermixing or something like that. Wow. You know what? Bayonetta has been uh, is a godlike game franchise but it's never sold as much as it should do i think like bayonetta 2 sold like less than one and a half like 1.5 million or something like that in total i'm talking the wii version and the switch version right and I don't know why, man. Because such an incredible franchise. The character's amazing. The world is amazing. The gameplay is godly, right? But I would say that the first one, they, it was an incredible character. The world wasn't super polished, but the graphics of the character and her interaction with the enemies were the pinnacle of polished, right? And the story was interesting, but it was more about the character herself than the lore world. And the story was, there was a lot of like freeze frames and like film reels and um, snapshots to tell the story. So it wasn't like cutscenes full CG. It was their ways of, you know, budget constraints, team with budget constraints, and it was done in a very innovative way. Bayonetta 2 had the same thing, but Bayonetta 2 had a very, very epic scale type. Like, the whole game of Bayonetta 2, you felt like you were on a roller coaster ride, and it just grabbed by the scruff of your neck and dragged you from the beginning to the end. That game was a mad roller coaster, but it did simplify the system. Right, because Bayonetta 1 was an incredible game, but a lot of the awesomeness of that game was locked behind high execution, right? High execution on understanding the intricacies of the system. I played that game for years, so I did learn that part of the game and I loved it. Bayonetta 2 reduced the entry level for and the ceiling of skill for that game so the actual skill level there's, there was a ceiling whereas it was an incredibly high ceiling but Bayonetta 1 literally had no ceiling you could do anything in that game within the boundaries of the system but you could it was almost endless what you could do you felt like you could learn that game every time I played that game and I thought I couldn't go any further sometimes I would just keep on playing be in the zone and I'd find something new Whereas being at a two, I felt like I kept the ceiling in terms of everything that I could do. And I just had to remain sharp, right? And being at a two, even though it was epic, it didn't have the story cohesion, right? Like a Final Fantasy VII remake or a Witcher uh, 2 or Witcher 3 or something like that. Where it's like, you know, the cutscenes and the stories and the interactions. It was more the gameplay 
and the environments and your love for the character and the set pieces that carried you from story to story and you get a, um, a cut scene at the ending of a chapter right so that was kind of i don't know maybe that is being as that downfall i don't know man that's the only thing i can think of because to me the game is damn near perfect i love me some bayonetta right so i feel and the world wasn't ready for bayonetta i feel when it came out now i feel the world is more ready and appreciates bayonetta who she is what she is and what the world is and can be and hopefully will be right but that was a mad trailer oh my goodness and let's be honest bayonetta 3 has been in production for a very long time man and also i think it's sad that people that play bayonetta 1 on the xbox and playstation don't have access to bayonetta 2 and they won't gain access to bayonetta 3 i mean bayonetta 2 i don't think is even available on a pc so you can only really play it on the wii u which no one has a wii or the Switch, because Switch is like an old, old, old console, right? And it's only available on the Switch. So I think it's sad that a lot of PlayStation, Xbox players will never get a chance to enjoy and understand Bayonetta 1, 2, well, understand 1, but not get to continue the adventure of 1 in 2 and 3. They could only watch from afar. That is deeply unfortunate and even if you watch let's plays that's nothing compared to what you feel when you are actually playing the game and experiencing it and now we get to see the continuation in bayonetta 3 i'm excited i'm excited for some bayonetta they got put together they've always had a good framework man with paradiso and Inferno, and we found out, you know, in Bayonetta 2, that Balder um, is Ceresus. No, sorry, in Bayonetta 1, that Balder, far from Balder, is Bayonetta's dad. So Bayonetta is half from Paradise and half from Inferno, and the and the the devils and the um, angels. And now we've got the Homuncus, the man-made, I don't know, devils and angels mixed or whatever they are the homuncus that they're we're dealing with now are the different timelines of bayonetta and reality of what's going on oh, there is so much man i'm excited i'm excited i just i'm praying they put everything together because they've always had the as i said they've always had a good framework of bayonetta story but they've not put it all together right and i feel like they have had budget constraints in bayonetta which has shown in bayonetta right but i don't care about that because i love me some bayonetta right but maybe this time if there's no budget constraints we can just get a 100 percent super clean bayonetta full cutscenes, motion no freeze frames or snapshots and then they're talking you know, none of that, just non-stop story, action, tell the story you want to tell, which I, it looks like they're doing. So I'm excited. Um, let me know what you guys think about Bayonetta, um, me talking about the trailer, breaking it down. Excited, man. I have got my Bayonetta pre-ordered. I've been pre-ordered Bayonetta from when they announced the... The last trailer that they announced, I don't know, as I said, it was in March or April, something like that. From right now, it's 6.30, right? Bayonetta is, what is that? Two weeks, five hours and 30 minutes away from release. Oh, I don't, th I don't think I'll be at Comic-Con when it comes... Hopefully it comes in the morning post, so I'll be able to get it before I leave for Comic-Con. And I might be able to play it in the morning. I don't know. But anyway, let me know what you guys think. If you're into some Bayonetta, 
I'm into Bayonetta. I, live, I love me some Bayo. Some hot Bayo action. And um, Warriors. Take care. Stay blessed. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in the next one. Laters.